Hey, what's going on fans and friends? Welcome back once again to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. It's been a pretty, really damn exciting week in the tech world. I mean, there are just tons of things going on. If you're following it, you probably know what's going on. For the PCs enthusiasts, they have a huge thing called Computex over in Taipei, and this thing is huge. All the computer vendors all gather there. All kinds of people are there. I don't really like to fly too much, so that's kind of why I'm not there. And at the same time, for Apple lovers, they had their WWDC, where a lot of things were talked about, including their new iOS 8 and their new Mac OS, which is going to be called Yosemite. Not like the park or the Sam guy, just Yosemite. Now, for the people out there who hate on Mac, I know there's some of you guys out there, this isn't going to be your cup of tea. But I've got a little dummy mock-up model right here of one of the supposed new iPhones that's going to be coming out this fall. And this thing's the iPhone so-called 6. Now this thing has a 4.7 inch screen and that's pretty much what I know about it so far. But I did get the dummy model in my hand. So for you people out there who are Mac fans going, hey, this is pretty information that I'd like to hear about. Well, I have that thing right here in my hand and it looks pretty cool. And um, compared to some of the other iPhones that my friends have had, I have to say that even though this is the dummy mock-up version, it still seems to be a lot better made. Now one thing I just want to clarify before the Apple fans crawl out of the woodwork and start giving me tons of shit. When I say this thing's not made well to me, what it is, it's very, very small. When I hold it in my hand, it just feels so small and so fragile that I think I'm going to break it. I mean, I'm a guy with big ass hands and when I'm hearing that thing in my hand, it just feels so small. Now I know that some of the new Samsung phones are kind of getting that way and hopefully everybody will pick up their damn ball and make a good phone. That way me, and you don't have to worry about our damn phone getting broke just because it's got some cheesiness in it. This one feels a lot better and a lot tougher, has a bigger screen. I'm sure all the other features about this are going to be coming out as the months unfold. But once again, back in the PC world over at Computex, all kinds of crazy shit is going on. Now you guys all know they have a brand new chip that has just hit the market. So the CPU that I'm talking about is the brand new i7-4790K Devil's Canyon CPU. Now this thing's shown some amazing overclocking capabilities with LN2 all the way up to 6.4 gigahertz in the fives when you're using air and water cooling. But to get 6.4 just right out of the box of the retail processor is pretty damn good. But the only catch side to that that is how many people are actually going to run LN2 at their home. This is where I get a little bit weird about the overclocking world. Like Vince and Fugger, all these guys go out there and they overclock the shit of these CPUs. But have you ever seen the equipment that they use to do it on? Like I own a couple of them. They're very expensive. Like the machine can cost almost $2,000 to get into. And let's just using a little pot in LN2. That can be pretty cheap. But I actually bought some of these phase machines. And to do this stuff isn't what the normal home user is going to do. So yeah, for you extremists out there, this 6.4 number is like, oh yeah, badass, I can catch that. But for you guys who are at home, who just so like me, who build your computers with liquid cooling and stuff, you're looking at getting in like the 5.4, 5.5 range, which is still pretty damn good for the brand new CPU from Intel. Like usual, if you guys want to see more information about this, down below that like button, we will have all the information. Just hit the show more and you'll get all that stuff down there below that like button. Next up, 4K. We've been actually talking a lot about 4K lately. In fact, this video is being brought to you in 4K. Some people out there don't quite appreciate it yet. A lot of people say, oh, you know, oh, my monitor doesn't support 4K, but you can still see how clear it looks. Even if you put it at even lower resolutions, it just looks so much cleaner. And with that in mind, Intel is now predicting that 4K monitors will hit the market next year in around the $400 range. So that's going to be pretty damn good. As 4K makes its emergence onto the scene, you're going to see lots and lots of new stuff. Now, what's really going to piss you off is this though. Sony and others right now are fighting for 4K dominance, which means that right now what's going on is if you buy a Samsung 4K TV, only the Samsung format of a 4K movie is going to play on it. And I personally think that's just a total bunch of bullshit. You guys need to right now fix the standard. If I go out and buy a 4K movie, it should play on every damn TV and every monitor I have. I want to hear you guys' opinions on that because personally, I think that is really an affront to what everybody's trying to do. We're trying to get everything to work together and that is just once again segregating and making us work apart. Also, for you guys out there who are loving portable gaming, ASUS has just announced their ROG GX500 laptop. Now this thing's going to be incredible because it's going to have all the super specs for gaming and a 4K monitor. So picture that, man. You can be out on the go 
playing your games in full 4K in a portable world. Now, aside from the 3840 by 2160 screen resolution that measures 15.6, that is 280 pixels per inch. This 2.2 kilogram beast will feature i7 processors along with an NVIDIA GT860M. One thing though you need to take in consideration on the flip side is this. Right now, anything to do with 4K takes massive amounts of power to edit it, to show it, everything. And only like the 295 and 780 Ti right now have the power to really push this stuff. So will a laptop actually truly have the power to pump out 4K in a way that you're gonna like? While watching this video, you guys may have noticed that I have a system back here behind me. In case some of you guys missed it, I'm sure my loyal fans have already seen this. You're going, yeah, I've already seen this. But in case for some reason you haven't, you're only coming here to see this video, you guys are going to want to check this system out. This thing back here is an incredible, incredible super build by Anthony Reynolds, our in-house tech. And this thing is the Metro 935. So if you guys missed that, you guys are going to want to check that out. Now, before I bounce out of here, though, I actually have a couple of really good deals for you gamers out there looking to save yourself some money and get some great gear. Let's go. Right now, the Anchor Programmable Gaming Laser Mouse with 5,000 DPI is on sale for $35. I reviewed this mouse previously, and this is actually one incredible piece of product for a mere 35 bucks. And for you people who like fighting games, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition is on sale for a mere $5. That's right, I said $5. So that's it, folks. Today's top stories, a couple of deals, and we also have something else for you. A lot of people may not know this, but we have now opened up our forum-based website. We're trying to get everybody over there and start our online family. And for those people out there who go leave a comment on any one of these stories over on our new site, you guys can qualify for a $25 gift certificate from Amazon. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, like I said before, and I will reiterate once again, all of the information will be down below the like button, which hopefully you'll hit because I hope you like this video. So if you guys have questions, want to get more information, just take a look down there below the show more, and you can fill your heads with knowledge. Peace out, my brothers and sisters. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech.